I think many of us have this idea or this dream about what retirement really looks like. And I think, at least for me, retirement used to always look like sitting on the beach, drinking a margarita, doing whatever I want to do, whenever I want to do it, eating whatever I want, traveling to wherever I want to go. And that seemed like the best life for me to live. But I think ultimately what you're truly seeking is how to be financially free, to not need anything to have whatever it is that your heart desires while also being able to do it while you're young. And so in this video, I want to help you to get a little bit more understanding of the mentality and just some tips on how you can obtain financial independence and retire as early as possible. So I know at least for me, financial independence really looks like me not having a need for anything. Financial independence for me looks like being able to eat good food and eat the best quality of food all the time. It looks like having great clothes, good quality clothes. It looks like having a nice place to live that at least somewhat takes care of the needs, but also some of my wants. It looks like being able to save for my children's future, being able to save so that they can go to college, so that they can get a good jump start on life and have a house and have a car and things like that. That's what financial independence for me means. And if that means the same thing for you, then just some tips on how to achieve this financial independence first starts with the mindset. You have to know what you want and you have to know what that independence looks like. I know you've probably seen a lot of YouTube videos that talk very general about mindset, strategy, things like that without actually giving you tips, like practical step-by-step -step things. It's because the step-by-step -step things really don't matter when it comes down to what you want out of financial freedom. There are many steps in order to achieve financial independence. You can go real estate, you can go stocks, you can get it from your job, you can do thousands of jobs. It, that, that, the steps don't matter. The mindset, you need to know what that looks like. And then once you know what that actually looks like for you, now you have a benchmark or at least a base of where you can come from to build upon. So financial independence, all that means is you have enough finances, you have enough money, you have enough assets to live your life how you want. Now, you need to come to terms with a few things on how far you want to go in your life to be financially independent. One, you need to know how much money you really need to live comfortably and live the life you want. Some people's desires are consumed around money. My desires are not consumed around money. Things are great, don't get me wrong, it's good to have nice things. It's good to have quality of things. But I don't need to have 30 cars, 40 cars. I, I don't need to have that many cars. I just wanna have the cars that I like. I don't need to have 50, 60 houses. I just need to have the homes that I want. I don't, I don't need the best of the best. Cause see, once you make so much money, then you're always gonna be chasing the best of the best, the newest of the new. You're always gonna want more. One plate of food just isn't enough. One steak just isn't enough. You need to have two steaks. You need to have five steaks. You need to have this best steak. You need to have that choice meat. You need to have that chef. It goes on and on. And so you need to first see what it is that you need to be financially independent and what your life really looks like to be free. And if I were to give you some type of tips to move in that direction, I would first encourage you to sit with yourself, analyze yourself. Only you know yourself and only you know what would truly make you happy. And you need to see, okay, what's involved in that process. Does it involve me working a nine to five job? Does it involve me being an entrepreneur? Does it involve me doing a service business? Or does it involve me working with products and selling products? What does that entail in order for me to live the life I wanna live and achieve that dream of being financially independent? Once you do that, you now have a, at least a clear consciousness of the mindset and the mentality that it would take. And then once you start that process, you'll begin to now consider the cost 
of what it takes to get there and see if this is truly something that you desire in your heart, whether that's to make a million dollars, whether that's to be a, a double digit millionaire, triple digit millionaire, even a billionaire. That's like some people don't really have aspirations to be a billionaire because they could, you could probably buy whatever you wanted to buy being a millionaire, even a thousandaire. If you just made over six figures and you were single just for yourself, you probably have enough money to take care of yourself to really live a great lifestyle. Maybe it's not so extravagant such as I could just go buy a Rolls Royce when I want to, but you could go get a nice Lexus or a nice Cadillac or at least be in the ballpark of the type of car you want. And if you're not, you at least make money to where you can save for the car you want. So you need to know what that is for yourself. Another tip that I would give you for financial independence and something that will help you retire early is you need to know investing. You're not you're not going to be able to just work your way to retiring early. It just don't work that way. The amount of income that you make on earned income unless you just have a business that's bringing in hundreds of thousands of dollars a week or a month, unless you have a business like that, then the amount of money you make on your earned income needs to be invested because when you invest your money, you're investing your money into your future and you're using that money to make you more money. That is the fastest way that you get money to retire early so that you're not having to work and save your way to retire. Because if you're working and trying to save your way into retirement, then you will need to be working a lot of years and you're not gonna retire early. Why? Because inflation. As the world goes on year after year, inflation goes up, the prices of things go up. That $5 you save today is not going to be able to buy you that hamburger a year from now because that hamburger may not may no longer be $5. That hamburger may now be $6. That means you're now short a dollar. So if you think you're going to save your way to retirement, you got another thing coming because prices will continue to increase. And the more you save and not invest, the less money you're going to have in the future. So you need to learn investing and start learning how to invest your money so that way your money continues to make money to keep up with inflation. That's another tip that I would give you. Now, when it comes to retiring early, I want you to consider what early really looks like for you. What does early mean? What do you mean when you say you want to retire early? Do you want to retire at 50, 40, 30, 25? It's okay to have a dream, a fantasy, hey, I wanna work real hard and I wanna retire at the age of 25, but I've just started my career at the age of 20. No matter how much you save, no matter how hard you invest, unless you have a high paying job and you're able to take big risks, unless you have a job like that, then no matter how much you save and how much you invest, it's still gonna take longer than just the five years in order for you to become said millionaire or billionaire, if we're, if we're thinking logically. In order for you to become a billionaire, you have millionaires who still aren't billionaires, but yet they still make a bucket load of money as a millionaire. So if your dream is to become a billionaire, it's gonna take more than five years. Th think about Jay-Z. Jay-Z has been in his career for a long time and it took a long time before he became a billionaire. Tyler Perry, it takes a long time. So what does early look like to you? Quite naturally, I love to be a triple digit millionaire tomorrow, but we have to be realistic. And you, when you become more realistic about retiring early and what that looks like, you have to look at your current circumstances and you have to look at what you're willing, willing to do to get there. It's all about you and your willingness of what you want to do to become financially independent and to retire early. What are you willing to do? You got to be willing. If you say you're employed and you work a nine to five, you have to be willing to continue to work that job, continue to invest in your 401k, continue to put in some extra overtime, continue to make more money off the overtime, off the extra hours, sacrificing your time for money if you're if you're trying to get there just by working. 
sacrificing your time for money so that you can get the most amount of money possible from your job into that retirement 401k account and allow your employer to invest your money for you. That's the, that's the route that you would go if you were trying to retire early working a nine to five job, utilizing the employer funded 401k retirement account. You got to work those hours. You got to sacrifice more of your time for money. If you're trying to go the investing route, then you still need to find some type of earned income, whether you're working a service, working a job or selling a product to make as much money as you possibly can and investing that money yourself, which means most of your time that you're sacrificing now for money is not on a job, but on your knowledge of investing and learning how you can invest your money wisely. Real estate channel, stock channel, private equity channel, whatever type of channel and avenue that you want to go to invest your money, you're now putting more of that time into that, into your knowledge. Now, if you were trying to go the saving route, which we just talked about, you're just talking about putting money to, a, to the side in enough amount of time in order to become and have that amount of money that you feel that you can retire off and never have to work a day in your life again for. Again, the chances of you doing that early is very slim. You need to have and be making lump sums of money to put to the side to counteract inflation. That's just how hard you would literally, again, be sacrificing more of your time for money if you're going the saving route. So we just identified three routes, saving your money to retire early, investing your money to retire early, working a nine to five job to retire early. Let's say you wanna go entrepreneurship route. On the entrepreneurship route, if you're your own business owner, you will sacrifice more of your time for money in the aspect of growing your business, which means you will still have to work almost if not even more hours than you would for a nine to five on your own business, trying to bring in as much money as you can, investing your own money into your own retirement account, Roth account, whatever kind of account you want to set up and managing your own finances. Now, the difference between this way in retiring early from entrepreneurship, having your own business versus retiring early from a nine to five job is that the payout, the risk to reward ratio is much higher with an entrepreneurship, which I, with entrepreneurship. If you're an entrepreneur and you own your own business, then the amount of money you can make is uncapped versus the amount of money you can make on a job. So the amount of money you can put away for retirement is much greater than the amount of money that you can put away on a job because you're at a fixed point in income on a job until you get capped out. I don't even care if you're commission based or bonus based or whatever the case is. You're still only based on a certain percentage that the job has agreed to you from versus you being an entrepreneur, having your own thing. You can make as much money as you want. You are the commission. You are the bonus. You pay yourself the bonus. You do whatever you want to do. And you also are in charge of the taxes. And so because the risk reward ratio is much higher, you do move a lot faster as an entrepreneur than you do working a nine to five, which is why most people who work a nine to five have a side hustle. Those are four ways of obtaining financial independence when it comes down to what you do. Entrepreneurship, working a nine to five, investing, saving. You need to figure out which one of those avenues fits best for your life, which one you're willing to take the risk for, which one you're willing to make the sacrifices for in order to retire early. And again, you need to identify what does early look like for you. I've now come to a full understanding in my own personal life that retiring early to me looks like this, or even just financial independence looks like this. I have enough money to do what I need to do. I have enough money to get some of the things that I want in this world. But ultimately, I have enough money to fuel my passion. I have enough money to fuel my purpose. Financial independence for me looks like me doing what I really want to do. It does not look to me like doing nothing just because I have a whole bunch of money in my pocket. I could care less about just having a bunch of money in my pocket. What I care more about, my needs being taken care of having the things that I want out of this life and fulfilling my purpose in life of doing what I really enjoy doing. That's what I care about. Me retiring early does not look like me doing anything. 
and just living off money. Me retiring early looks like me retiring from doing the things that I don't want to do. That's what retiring early looks like to me. If I don't want to work a nine to five, I don't want to. And I want to retire early from that. Not retire from working, but retire early from doing the things I don't want to do. Because work, we have gotten misconstrued. Retiring from work is not something you really want to do because even working in your passions is still work, but it's something that you enjoy. And I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase, but the phrase that says, when you're doing what you love, you're not working. That's true. When you're really doing what you're called here and put on this planet to do, then you're not working. It is hard work to be good at what you enjoy doing. But when you enjoy it, you feel as though you're not working. Like right now, I enjoy doing YouTube videos. I enjoy talking to you and helping you. I could do this all day long, every single day, talking to people, trying to assist people with personal development, faith, money, exercise, all of these different things because it is something I'm passionate about. It is a part of my purpose of what I was called here to do. So when I do this, I don't really feel like I'm working. So this is not something that I want to retire from. I always, for the rest of my life, want to continue talking to people, helping people and giving advice. I don't want to retire early. So if that's you, then you need to sit down for yourself the same way that I did and evaluate what does financial independence look like and what does retire early look like and what are the steps that I'm going to take to move me forward in that direction and how can I stay focused on what it is that I truly want to do because you'll then realize it's not about how much money you make it's not about becoming a billionaire it's not about retiring at 30 or 28 or 35 or 40 and riding off into the sunset doing nothing. It's about living the life you wanna live, doing the things that you wanna do, fulfilling your purpose here on earth with other people, other people that you wanna be around, people that matter to you and helping to cultivate the planet. And when you realize that, then you realize, oh, I could accomplish that and have that type of life with a lot less money than I thought I really needed in order to be and live the life that I wanna live. It'll hit you after you do those things. So I just wanted to give you a couple of tips here. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot so that you can get more videos like these and leave me a comment down in the comment section and let me know what are some things that you're interested in wanting to know as it relates to money or as it relates to investing or as it relates to financial freedom. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts and to make content around the things that you want to know. So I thank you. I appreciate you for tuning in and watching me here today in this video. I pray nothing but blessings and peace over your life as you walk with me on this Christian journey. And I'll talk to you next time.